In this video, we're going to look at how you can prove that a quadratic function is always positive. So let's look at the theory that underlies this problem. So we can have various situations, and we'll run through what those look like. So in this case, we don't have a function that is always positive. This is not always positive because all of these values here are below the x-axis, so they are negative. And this is going to be the situation where b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. If you're not sure about this, we'll run through this in the worked example. This arises because we have two roots here. So we have two real roots, and that happens in this situation. We could have this situation as well, where it's touching at one point, and that's the on the x-axis. So we've got a value of 0 there. So this is also not always positive, because that 0 isn't a positive or a negative number. So this function isn't always positive. This will happen when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. We could also have this situation, and this is what the one that we're looking for. This function here is always positive, and so this will happen when b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So if we can show this, we could show that this is the case, or that could also be the case. So this isn't enough to prove that we have an always positive function, because we could have an always negative. So if we can show this, it will prove that we've either got an always positive function or an always negative. So we need another step to be able to tell these two apart. So what we can say is that f of a is greater than zero in this case. So in other words, if we put any number, absolutely any number into the equation that we've been given and we show that that's positive, this will rule out this case and tell us that we've got this case. If we get the value of f of a, so a is, remember, any number, we show that that is negative, then we have this case. So we can come up with this rule. So a function is always positive if this discriminant is less than zero and when you substitute in a value for a, this is greater than zero. If you wanted to prove it's always negative, you would also use this case, but you would just switch this around and show that this is less than zero. So let's look at our worked example. So the example is prove that f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 5 is always positive. So we want to show that you've got this case. This is the always positive case. And there's our two conditions. We have to show that b squared minus 4ac is less than 0 and that f of a, where a is just any number, is greater than 0. So we put any number in here, we get a positive number. So let's write out the equation again, compare that to the standard form. So we've got ax squared plus bx plus c. So we compare the coefficients here. We've got nothing written there. So a is going to be 1. b and 4 are matching up. And then we've got a constant term on the end, plus 5 and plus c. So c is, of course, 5. So we've got a, b, and c. We substitute those into our equation here. That's going to be 16. That multiplies out to give 20. And so we end up with minus 4. That is, of course, negative, so we have shown that this is true. So by substituting in a, b, c, we have proved that we've either got an always positive function or we could have that always negative case. So we have to prove that f of a is greater than 0, so we just pick a number, and it's almost like you try to catch out the function. So I think minus 2 is one that you think, mm, is it going to work, is it not going to work? So we replace all of the x's with minus 2, Evaluate that and we get the case that f of minus 2 is 1. So we've shown that for one value, it is positive. So it can't possibly be this one down here. You could never have a value of 1 plus 1 on that graph. So it must be this case. So therefore, we have shown this condition and we've shown this condition. So it must be true that this function is always positive. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. You can now prove that a function is always positive or always negative. And finally, Thank you very much for watching.